It's officially December. We are within Chivichavichu. You know, let's go about shots and surprise. Hagere. Hey, destination wedding. Let's go. I always knew in the back of my mind, God has me. God has me. Don't stress. This year for me was one of the best years I've had in a very long time. I thought we were soulmates, you always be mine. Turns out even that could change with time. Somewhere along the way, you chose peace of mind. Do me lang. Do me lang ba holo le kai? Ritting. Wow. It's December, guys. It's officially December. We are within Chivichavichu. We are within it is december wow we made it through 11 months of this year and we just have just a few that final push we just have that final push and the year is over and the year is done i actually cannot believe that it's december i physically cannot believe that we are actually in december i wow wow but um i just realized i didn't do a proper intro um Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And for those of you who do not know me, my name is Rea Ratwalet Sabo, also known as Rea, official murder on Instagram and murder money on TikTok. And for those of you who are returning subscribers, hey besties, oh, we are finally in december i'm so excited guys i'm so excited it's my birthday month i'm turning 21 on the 21st so it's my crown birthday i'm so excited i'm so excited i i can't wait i feel like december has so many i feel like december has so many blessings attached to it i feel like it's about abundance i feel like it's just about more and just celebrating. I feel like December is genuinely just about celebrating all the wins, all the W's, reflecting on the owls, but moving forward and just taking every ounce of positivity and optimism that we possibly can. I'm so excited. For me, I, I will be vlogging December. I just wanted to take this time just to introduce the video. Um, I feel like this December is so special because this year was so special. I feel like I, I really grew as a person this year and I feel like so many things have changed and I'm obviously going to have like a proper sit down sesh and talk about like what I learned in my 20th year and how it feels to be 21, what I want to take, how like so many things, you know, essentially my first year of being 20 or entering my 20s and how it's going, where I'm at, and where I want to be. And I'm so incredibly excited to share all of the ideas and content that I have for you guys. And I really hope you just take it for what it is and take me for, uh, for who I am, you know? And yeah, so I'm so excited. Tomorrow, um, it's the 1st of December. It's like the first first. And tomorrow, my mom and I are going to um, a wedding is yeah when was the last time i was at a wedding hmm? when was the last time i was at a wedding no genuinely speaking because there's been a lot of funerals and a lot of loss and a lot of heaviness so the fact that there's now like a wedding 2023 celebration it's like let's go let's go so excited we're going to a wedding tomorrow it's you can't see it now but i'm doing it i promise you i'm do I'm killing it i'm killing it as we speak but yes we're going to on our wedding tomorrow um a family friends so excited so happy for her congratulations congratulations you know and just to be able to celebrate with her and just be around good wedding energy hey 
good wedding in it. Can I go yam my yellow? You know, let's go about shocked and surprised. I get it. Hey, destination wedding. This guy. Don't be shocked and surprised when you just see me pulling up with the wedding. Gatala, you. Gatala. Gatala. Gatala, my dear. Gatala. But yeah, you know, it's it's super exciting. I'm so happy. Um, and there's just a lot of good things happening this December. Um, we're currently moving. My mom bought a house. My mom bought a house. Bought a house. My queen bought a house. So we're moving, getting ready to do all the admin stuff, packing and getting out of here and starting fresh, having a home. And just, yeah, there's just so many blessings, so many good things that have happened this year. My mom got her PhD you know and it's just been blessings and blessings and blessings you know and i welcome that for her she deserves it she's absolutely deserving oh what a queen what a queen you know it's her birthday this month as well it's her birthday on the 16th um my birthday on the 21st my cousin's birthday on the 17th my grandfather's birthday on the top like there's so many things to celebrate there's so many people to celebrate so, so christmas like there's so many things to just be happy about you know and just to say thank you god wow what a year what people you've brought into my life like thank you for this life thank you for this love thank you for this home thank you for this family thank you for this year because what a blessing and thank you for where I used to be where I am now and where I'm headed you know like it's just incredibly it's just a lot of gratitude I have a whole lot of gratitude just built up in me and I can't wait to just thank God every single day you know because without him <laughs> I would not have made it through this year you know so I am so grateful to God and I'm so excited for this month. I'm so excited for the blessings, abundance, the ability to celebrate, to hear congratulations, popping champagne, darling, you know? Precisely. Yeah. Yeah. Celebrates, lots to be grateful for. And wow, I can't believe we made it this far. And for everyone that is watching, I am so grateful to you guys for constantly watching, subscribing, um, sharing you know comments everything and just sending like motivational messages even some of the dms that i've like gotten like it's all been so motivational and it's all been so cute and it's just been such a good supportive community and i cannot thank you guys enough and i genuinely hope that this vacation season and this holiday season is blessed for you guys and for your families and everything that you guys are going through i genuinely hope that god continues to provide and he continues to put his hand over every single one of your situations and I trust that there will be a way forward there is always a plan there is always a reason God will always make a way and you need to trust that and I hope you trust that and I hope you take that with you and congratulations for making it to the end of the year and I genuinely hope you have a very safe blessed celebratory holiday season and yeah thank you so much for being on this journey with me and I cannot wait to keep growing and growing with you. So yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so stoked. So many good things have happened this year and I've just been reflecting a lot and I'm just so eternally grateful to everyone that's in my life. And wow, what a blessing, what a year. So yeah, today we're running errands and I do not have an outfit for tomorrow's wedding because I asked Miguel, Mugel and being my mom. Kimu Buddhist Kiri, hey, Osi. Arahu Gram, Missis, Yaka, because we're not a little Missis. Nahakina Missis, Ara, ya, ya, all good. Ya, ya, ya. I never did. Kimu Yano, Wabble, Mugel. So I don't consider the ready to study last minute. And a Nahakimo to Wadi, last minute. But Kimu. So hopefully I'll find something very cute. Um, you know all the best you know i can't i can't even fault her so yeah and we just have a couple of errands to run today as well we have to get some admin done and so yeah um welcome to my december vlog Woo! i let's go let's wrap this up let's wrap this up i don't know why my bra is sticking out like that but this is the fit 
you know cute simple i got this okay let me start with the shoes these are my sissy boys um and then the cargo pants are from the fix i don't know if you can see it but yeah the cargo pants are from the fix um i don't know where i got this tank top from but it's like just a very basic tank top i'm sure you can get it at like mr price or costing like you can get it anyway and then i got this cute little cardigan situation like crop cardigan thing um from cotton on and i got this face from my mom so yeah yeah you know but yeah that's the fit i love it i think it's so so cute i'm obsessed i feel like i'm just in a new era of my fashion sense you know i'm just growing i'm just glowing but yeah i think i look really really cute today mm, man Limuriri if I like Wow I'm eating this oh I'm eating this Emma do you know what I find kind of crazy? Kid is embedding his manal. Eh? Hey soon book an appointment or to the manal. Oh but I guess it's a file more pillar how I do. Oh I don't have my clothes. I don't have my accessories. Huh? How do I be a ton of women without nails, ma? It's taking so long and I'm so tired. I'm just like, oh my gosh. There's not a lot of people working here. There's like three tellers. And one, two, three, eight stations with three tellers. Give out the detail. It's very good plan. I'll let you see. I've been here for an hour. If I hear that ringtone one more time. Guys, I'm getting hangry. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I'm getting hangry. So I'm trying my best to be patient. But... I think this is one of the tests that God is giving me. I think God is testing me right now and I don't want to fail, but I'm so hungry. Oh, there's my brother. Say hey to YouTube. Hey, say so YouTube. Say hey. Say hi, YouTube. Say YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, I am so tired and so hungry. I think it's like 6 p.m. I have not eaten the whole day. The whole day. I'm starving. Um, we just got back from doing admin stuff, going to the bank, and I couldn't film the rest of the stuff because I was honestly so tired. But um, yeah, doing admin stuff, going to see the new house and everything. And it was really, really cool. It's very, very gorgeous. So proud of my mom, OMG. Well done, shorty. But um, I, I couldn't get the dress. I could not find the dress for the wedding tomorrow because I was going to wear traditional Tswana attire. You know, but we could not find the dress that I was looking for. So I'm going to have to improvise and just be like western and not, you know, which is very irritating because I really wanted to rip the culture. But such is life. I will improvise. I'll find something. I'm sure I have a dress somewhere and make it work. I guess I'm so tired and I'm so hungry. Like, I give my a sip. Like, you try to get on. Yo, I give a look at sleep, I give a test sleep, I give a fella de joe, what a long time. So, yeah, I'm gonna go see. I remember I cooked. Um, so, I hope there's still enough food. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna watch some series and call it. And then, yeah, we'll see what the day brings. But I'm tired, I'm exhausted. I just wanna, you know. Huh? I don't know if I'm 
um i do not feel well at all i don't feel well my chest is <coughs> tight <coughs> it feels like i can feel the phlegm in my throat and also in my chest like my body is sore i struggle to wake up this morning because usually i wake up like between 8 and 9 a.m i'm already awake <coughs> And that's been my routine for the past like three weeks and now today like my sister video called me and i checked my phone and i'm like because i just woke up and i'm just like wait what's going on and then she hung up the call because she realized like i had just woken up so she's like oh sorry and then i look at the time and it's like 20 past 11 and i'm like what's going on because, like, my body automatically wakes itself up at, like, between 8 and 9. So, the fact that, like, by then, that I call her back, <clears throat> after the call, I'm falling asleep again. I fall asleep, I wake up, it's, like, 12, 12, quarter past 12 vibes. And I'm just, like, no, man, my body is so, I have this sick cough, like, that time it's so hot and it's december and it's my birthday month and i <clears throat> i don't know what's going on yo i'm not having a good time but luckily my mom got me <coughs> my <name. coughs> oh. luckily my mom got me this mug and bean wrap so i don't have to make breakfast or anything or lunch I'm going to have that, take some meds, and just stay in bed the whole day. <clears throat> I'm so tired. I could just sleep, and this heat is not helping. It's like 35 degrees. So yeah, I'm going to eat, take some medication, and just stay in bed. Because, yeah, I also want to take off this wig because the lace is, like, showing and sticking out. And I don't have the energy to, like, fix it. Um, I think it's time. It's been, like two and a half weeks of me having this install so let's call it let's call it <clears throat> this and this my con i want to scratch my head properly you know the in-betweens i don't want to pet i want to scratch <clears throat> oh my skin is so bad right now like so i'm not having the greatest time in the world right now because I still feel quite sick and <coughs> I need to shower so that all these germs can go away but yeah I'm, I'm not feeling my best um I'm not looking my best um but I want to take this wig off um because I don't want to deal with it anymore um I don't have the energy to deal with it right now and I don't want to fix it and the lace is in your face you it's no longer what lays gnosis we can see the lays we can see it it's potent it's there it's in your face you know we can't help but not see the lace you know so i'm gonna take it off and then maybe wash my hair uh, but i'm not gonna take it out of the cornrows because um i like it in the cornrows um so i'm gonna like I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do with it. Um, but I'm not gonna take it out of the cornrows. I'm just gonna leave it like that because I wanna install my wig again maybe later this holiday if it's possible. Cause yeah, I don't wanna do I d I don't trust any other braiders anymore except for my braider, the lady that braids my hair in Cape Town. Everyone else I'm just like bombastic side eye because I don't know. I just don't know, you know, and her knotless braids eat. So, yeah, everyone else, I'm just like judging and side eyeing. And then my wig lady, also, only person I trust, currency hair in Cape Town. Um, I, I started watching Top Boy um, season three because I've been putting it off for so long because my friend told me that he was just in turmoil after watching it and it's the last season so i'm just like i was just like i don't want to go through this i don't want to go through this i don't want to go through this but now i'm just like oh sorry but now i'm just like guts to see it through my boy guts to see it through 
so i started and i'm not happy i i've watched the first five minutes and i'm not happy because i'm not getting the answers that i want to the questions that i have about jamie and so it's 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 killing me bro it's killing me it's killing me sally when i catch you sally when i catch you bro it's on site it's on site shame he plays his role so well for him to be one of the most hated men he plays his role so well yeah i'm gonna go shower now um because as you can see i've been coughing all over myself so i just feel very dirty right now and i yeah i'm gonna take off this wig wash my hair a little bit and then yeah so let's go take off this wig or should i take it off here now you guys are gonna laugh at me living get a dimi milidi joke and i get joke i get joke so you know this lighting is too good <laughs> yo But yeah, I need to take off this wig. I'm gonna take off this wig. My skin is also so bad right now. Things aren't going well. It's hot. We didn't end up going to the wedding yesterday because of my mom. Super upset. Don't want to address those allegations because I'm still upset and hot and bothered about it because I was excited for a wedding. But now I'm sick. My wig is not wigging top boy is not top boy but i don't know guys i'm not having fun but yeah let me go take this off um i hope i still have a hairline wish me luck <laughs> wish me luck okay fine it's not bad but it's not good either you know and like this like this side is just like traumatized i don't know should i take it off should i I don't want to go closer because then you're going to see what's going on and let me give it two more days just until I feel better because I'm so ugh. good morning guys I literally feel so horrible um I've been taking medication and just I keep falling asleep and I literally yeah I'm so I just want to sleep but um my mom asked me to go to the bank with my grandmother this morning to go help her do some things and that's just what I want to do. I want to go to the bank, help her and come back. I don't want to go open off running errands. I'm tired. I feel horrendous and I just want to sleep. Like that's all I want to do and just lie in my bed. Um, I took off my wig yesterday so as you can see i'm wearing my mom's wig today um yeah i took off my wig yesterday because i was just like yeah i can't i, I can't keep doing this i can't it's, it's not shimmering you know um and yeah i don't know how i feel about this wig i think i might put mine back on um Okay, there we go. I much prefer my own wig. But yes, I I'm so tired. I want to sleep. It's about to be a long day. And I really Oh, did you see that? <laughs> I'm not even flexing. That's the crazy part. Sorry. The person who hasn't gone to the gym in I was also going to the gym. I actually can count on my hands how many times I've gone to the gym this year. And it's probably on this hand. You know, one hand. But um, I still look good. You know, I still look good. I still got it. I still got it. But yeah, I'm so tired. Um, my grandmother's also not coming. She said she's going to be here at 8 a.m. shop. And she was very. 8 a.m. sharp. It's like 20 past 8, if not more than 2 past 8. Oh, 24 asleep. 
and the thing is i want to eat and take my medication but if i take my medication it's gonna make me drowsy and so i want to take it after we're done i mean i have to eat when we're done but i'm still hungry and i'm still hello guys so it is what tuesday wednesday i don't know i think tuesday and i have just been nursing myself back to health and oh this lighting is so off-putting yeah i've just been nursing myself back to health um because shame yeah no with this flu or whatever it was it was really trying to take me out of the game like it was literally trying to take me out of the actual game um i keep talking about something irritating but yeah it was definitely trying to take me out of the game luckily i just kept taking medication and i feel a lot better like i feel a lot better um there's still some remnants of the sickness within me but i definitely do feel a lot better it's so hot it is so hot mm. Mm -mm. everything that i've been doing these like past couple of days has just been like medicating myself going to run errands with my grandmother and yeah that's all i could do um but i've been i've been doing a lot of thinking and just a lot of like yeah just a lot of thinking and all very like good things just reflecting on this year and i have like big dreams for 2024 i have big goals um but i also have big expectations and i feel like it's because this year for me was one of the best years i've had in a very long time and yeah in a very long time i felt like i really stepped into a lot of peace this year and a lot of yeah peace that is really the perfect adjective i stepped into a lot of peace this year i made peace with a lot of things i tried to carry myself as peacefully as possible i tried to be at peace in every single situation but i also felt an overwhelming amount of peace just flow through me throughout every single situation there was no situation where i was like oh this is like way too much for me to carry i'm drowning i'm gonna suffer everything's over and even when those thoughts came it's like i always knew in the back of my mind god has me god has me don't stress why are you why are you stressing why are you stressing why are you why are you scared why do you have fear why are you why are you just like burying yourself in this hole when you know that god has already got the situation why are you scared when god is here you're fine you're perfectly okay and yes there's so much going on but you're fine god's god's handling the situation give it to him and i gave it to him and yeah i feel really this year was very peaceful and i felt i stepped into blessings that i could never have imagined for this year from february already i was just stepping into blessings that i genuinely did not think could happen right now but it's like i am living in answered prayers this year i lived in so many answered prayers i was a living testament to myself and the parts of me that are like scared and have this concern and doubt i was a living testament this year that those fears those doubts i don't need to have them because god really has me and he's going to do what he promised he was going to do. And wow. Wow. What a game changer. What a game changer. This year was absolutely incredible for my mental health, for my 
But most importantly, this year was absolutely incredible for the relationship that I had with God. Wow. I could I could go on and on for days about how amazing God's love is and his presence in my life this year, what he did for me. Mm. I could cry. I could cry. I want to do my nails tomorrow. Um, but I don't know. I'm going to have to check availability. Because if not tomorrow, Friday. Um, but it's a little bit of a because I'm going to go back. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. The ones and twos are going to go back. But I, I really want to enter my dirty girl era. But yeah, I, I'm so excited. I, I think I want to start a Bible plan. Um, One of these on the Bible app. I want to start one of the plans just to step into the year, you know, the next year, just with like the Holy Spirit, like literally on my back. And I just want to study more of the Bible and just really step into that relationship with God. Because um, I think one thing that I am realizing is that it's so different. I think because I found a really good church um, in Cape Town, the church is not in Northwest. So I've been having like a bit of a difficulty transitioning into being as disciplined as I am in terms of like my relationship with God and like reading the Bible and like praising and worshiping. I found that like it's very different in comparison to when I'm in Cape Town. And obviously I don't want that to be the case, but it does happen. So I'm trying to find other ways for me to just keep connecting with God. Um, because it's obviously not just through the church that you connect with God. Um, but I really do love my church. I really do. I really, really do. But um, yeah, so I want to check a couple of um, Bible study plans and really tap into that. I'm going to tap into that like tonight. Um, yeah, because I always hate, like every time I come home, I always feel like, my relationship with God is a bit distant and it's my fault, you know, so I, I want to do better and I don't want it to be a thing of I, I only have God, you know, when life is in Cape Town, you know, I want to take him everywhere that I go, especially during back, because um, it's easy to get lost during vacation and when you don't have that discipline structure or routine that you have when you're at uni. Um, it's easy to get lost, it's easy to drown, it's easy to forget his goodness and his mercy when you're doing nothing. It's easy to reach out to him and be there when you're like going through exam stress and going through like whatever it is that's happening during the year that you need God, but then all of a sudden in December, all of a sudden in December, and you know, I'm, I'm a culprit of that. I am a culprit of that, so I want to do better. And yeah, I think this year was really important for my relationship with God. And I don't want that to um, change in any way. If anything, I just wanted to keep growing. So yeah, I'm going to start a, a Bible study plan. I just want to say, my skin is not skinning. I don't know what is going on. But I get the oaks. Like, I have the worst rash. And it always happens every time I come home. And I think it's because of the huge weather difference and like my phone is so rude to just cut us off while we're talking like we're literally chopping it up what do you even mean but yeah the weather is so different here than in cape town so i feel like my skin always and it happens every single time i come home like i have the worst heat rash in the world i have all these like little pimples that are coming out of nowhere my skin is so bad and I know you can't see it right now. And you probably are going to judge me and be like, oh, I can't see anything. But I promise you it's there. I promise you. I promise you it's there. I can see it, bro. So, and I can feel it. And it's my skin. Okay, so trust me. I swear, guys, it's there. I promise. I, pr <laughs> I promise. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm going to... I want to go take a shower now because I literally feel like my skin is so dirty. It's like literally skeezing me out. But yeah, I'm going to take a shower, do some, you know, TLC, and then um, clean up a bit because my mom's coming back. So, you know, um, clean up a bit before my mom gets here and then um, 
start the Bible study. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to do because I've been looking like this whole morning. I've been trying to figure out which one I want to tap into. But yeah, I'm going to figure that out, start that, and then um, just keep editing because I have one vlog to keep editing before the... No, I have two. I have two. Um, yeah, I have two more vlogs to edit, so I'm going to start that and then just watch some series. I'm just really de-stressing, drink some tea, um, take eat take the rest of my medication but yeah so let's go take a shower when it comes to these things makes me so upset guys i hate pots i hate pants period shine white like a diamond shine white like a diamond shine white like a diamond Um, <laughs> we are it's currently like seven well past eight actually i think it's a little bit past eight we are getting ready to go to our nail appointments i don't know what kind of nail appointments happen at 8 a.m but like yeah we've been awake since like seven so we're getting ready to go to our nail appointments we're doing manis and patties we're getting into the christmas festive space Honey, I'm about to look like Mosadi. What am I? Mosadi, because Sally can see both or Mosadi get manal. Can't get night can see do the mohai. Kiss on a little manal. Just being a hypocrite, you know? So I've got to do better. So, Mosadi, I would love manal. 
This is my car. Yan ang unari. Yan ang unari. Just a reminder. But this is the song we play a lot. A reminder. Soon to some. This is my car. I put. So, I'm not going to do like an inconsequential new year. I think it's inconsequential again. I'm not going to do it. I thought we were soulmates, you'll always be mine Turns out even that could change with time Somewhere along the way you chose peace of mind Somewhere along the way what we had just died And heartbreaks, that's all I know The Lord takes if you don't appreciate Nothing in this life is old And nothing in this life is known